We've been joined for this part of the expedition by a second cameraman, Beat Steiner. Unlike shooting a feature film, our stuntmen only get one chance. There's no such thing as a take two, and having two cameras aimed at the action increases our chance of bringing home the money shot. The Colin Todd hut sits only 6,500 feet above sea level. We're barely higher in altitude than our Denver headquarters, but the extreme alpine topography that surrounds us is equal to any scene on the planet. We've reached the, the hut here on Aspiring, and I think the guys are pretty eager now to do some skiing. The guys we've talked to, they say this is the time of year to do it. We're the first guys to come up here to the hut this year, so actually Bob was digging out. Charlie flew us in, and weather looks good. He wasn't sure early in the day there with all the cloud activity, but it's burned off nice. Mother Nature on her side will be smiling down here with the ski to sit in the bag. Yeah. New Zealand mountain guide Josh Green has also joined our crew. A climber experienced in this range, we have to assume that the great load of food he's brought along is indicative of just how long a storm in the Southern Alps can hang around. We hope the approaching storm will blow by, leaving the skies clear and the slopes peaceful tomorrow but we're provisioned and prepared for the worst. Storms in the Southern Alps can stay for days on end. We're lucky to have an ample supply of food and fuel and the relative comfort of a mountain hut to shield us from whatever storm rolls in from the Tasman Sea.